hope. Gotta adjust this shit, nigga. Yo, what the fuck is up, man? <laughs> it's your boy, Young Birch. Pow TV. Hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, Pow TV. Yo. The rumor going around the whole countryside is that Sean Puff Daddy P. Diddy Combs smacked the shit out of Drake over the weekend at live. Damn. Apparently, it was over Drake getting too drunk and too aggressive with Cassie. I'm saying they was at live on Sundays in Miami. Live located in the Fountain Blue in Miami, 44th and Collins. And Drake Drizzy, you know what I'm saying? He was in the club. Diddy was in the club as well, so was Fab, Khaled, a couple other people. You know, it was packed. You know what I'm saying? They had the bottles flowing, the liquor going, Revolt TV cameras all over. And Drake apparently got too aggressive with Cassie. You know what I'm saying? So it was reported that Puff went over to Drake said, Chill, dog, you a little drunk right now. That's my girl. You ain't trying to Chris Brown me, man. I'm an OG in this game. You ain't gonna do that to me. So you need to chill. Apparently, Drake didn't get the message. He thought he was gonna try to smash Puffy's chick and get on that light skinned little B. I'm gonna fuck your bitch. It ain't work this time, man. Apparently, outside the club, after Drake was too aggressive with Cassie, Diddy gave Drake a three piece and a biscuit. No Popeyes. No KFC, no New York Fried, no Crown, no Kennedy Fried. Just a three-piece combo. Roy Jones Jr. Y'all must have forgot. Boom, boom, boom. Apparently, Drake stumbled to the ground like he was doing a nae <laughs> <laughs> He stumbled to the ground. Down goes Frazier. According to the Maybach Music DJ, DJ Sam Sneak, Drake was hospitalized for a separated shoulder probably through all the melee and trying to come back and fall in and whatever he was hospitalized apparently Sam Sneak says it wasn't over Cassie so the real story is going to come out soon but I think it was over Cassie Drake man you just need to chill do like Trey Songz do just smash some regular chicks you know what I'm saying get all that out your system go back to the strippers you trying to smash dudes, chicks, man, it's only going to lead to you getting shot or beat up. Dog, remember what happened with Pac and Biggie? When that magazine came out, people died. Pac died, Biggie died because of that magazine with Faith Evans on the cover with Pac. It ain't going to look good, man. You keep going the way you're going. You're going to smash the wrong rapper's chick, like Jeezy or... <laughs> Or YG, or or Trick Trick, or some <laughs> some rapper that ain't gonna play that easy. Slim Thug or something, and trade the truth, and and you gonna get beat up, man. Ain't gonna end well, Drake. My, you gotta chill, man. And then you go after Puff. Puff ain't no slouch, man. Puff had Sean airing out the club for him, man. People get shot for for messing with Diddy in the club, man. Innocent bystanders get lit up, shot in the eye and shit. Now I'm saying that's a 45 year old Harlem nigga. <laughs> you, you don't mess with no 45 year old Harlem niggas, chick man. 45 year old Harlem, yo, go walk, go to Harlem, walk around and look at the dudes that are still living as 45 years old. I wouldn't even want to shake their hand, son. And you out here trying to smash their chicks? Come on, bruh. This ain't the six, man. You ain't no six guy when you in when you in the States, bro. You leave that up to Toronto. I know Toronto got mad chicks all over the place, man. Light skin, beautiful, Melanie Fiona, Melissa Ford type chicks. You can't be doing that down here, man. Chris Brown got a record. He ain't trying to fight nobody. He'll send blood to you for all that. But damn. Puffy. Puffy over Cassie nah nah fam maybe you get away with that nonsense with Kim Porter but not Cassie bruh 
Nah. Dr. Doe 2014, kid. You gotta chill. Maybe if he was Ryan Leslie. <laughs> because that's Diddy's money. But now, uh-uh. Chill out, Drake. It's only gonna get worse, bruh.